Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question What is Orphan Replication and how would you clean up replication? First of all, Orphan Replication is uh, the replication that uh, you will see the uh, publisher and subscriber uh, in the replication, but they are not actually uh, uh, connected with the system. So that's an Orphan Replication. How does Orphan Replication gets created? Sometimes what happens is when you um, refresh your dev and test, from production and production database is being replicated. All that replication that's in that database gets um, uh, come with the uh, um, uh, that database, especially if you do backup and restore. So that creates a little bit of headache uh, in, in dev and test and create the orphan replication. Even if you uh, move the database from one uh, uh, SQL Server instance to another ins uh, SQL Server instance with replication on that creates orphan replication. So how to clean up replication? There is no straightforward answer. Really, you have to actually follow the procedure. But sometimes this is this has been 80% of the time. Uh, if I run this uh, uh, store procedure uh, replication. If I run the store procedure replication, keep in mind that if you run just without any uh, parameters in it, it'll remove all the replication from your from your system. So, as far as uh, removing it from production system, you have to follow the steps, and there are articles out there from Microsoft how to remove orphan uh, uh, replication. But um, uh, just to answer this question in an interview, I would uh, answer it exactly like that: that uh, if orphan application uh, replication is on uh, dev and test then you can go ahead and uh, run sp remove uh, db replication and if uh, you wanted to know more detail you can do step by step and step by step process is that uh, you need to be connected with the uh, public pu pu um, publication of that uh, replication subscription of that replication you need to drop one by one sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't so there is not really a straightforward answer that i can give you that step by step do this but uh, it also depends on the scenario that uh, how uh, your replication gets orphaned so um, i hope this helps but uh, i really I, this this has been working for me uh, for a lot of years if because um, on my dev and test i i didn't uh, need any um, I, I you can put it up here uh, replication you know whatever the replication um, up there publication or um, a subscription you can do it that way but just running it by itself will remove all the replication altogether so it worked for me what I did was uh, on my dev and test uh, uh, I went ahead and uh, scripted my existing replication which I know that was working and after that I removed this in order because it takes maybe takes you know it, it can take a, a lot of hours for you to remove uh, uh, orphan replication but um, uh, uh, for me the best uh, thing that I did was that script the existing uh, working replication and then went ahead and and run this store procedure and it removed everything and then I, I ran the script to create that replication I hope it helps I hope you um, you know it comes in a uh, uh, handy in in your situation but uh, if it doesn't then uh, uh, please go on Microsoft website they have a step-by-step -step that how to remove um, orphan replication I hope it helps